Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Kat. So if you've been watching my videos, you know I've been doing the resume series. Um, so I want to take a pause there to just wait if you guys have any questions and then I'm thinking in the future do some little exercise of what you should do on your resume and what you should not, you know, some mistakes if you can identify and improve some exercises like that. If you guys are interested, let me know. But today I want to switch the gear a little bit to talk about cover letter because it is as important as the resume, okay? So imagine, right, resume is pretty much your past experience and how you fit into what that company is looking for. And then they might have to, you know, really read it through which experience is relevant. But cover letter is different. Cover letter is straightforward. You highlight really the most impactful experiences that you have. So really catch the eye of HR quickly, okay? So what is a cover letter and what we should include in a cover letter will be introduced in this video. I hope this video can be helpful because cover letter and resume is a package, right? You have to ace in both documents, okay? So if you're new to my channel, I'm Catherine. I share my experiences in consulting and medical science liaison positions with all of you. So hopefully you can land in your ideal position quickly. Please subscribe to my channel if you're interested in such content. Let's get started with cover letter today. So the first million dollar question is what is cover letter and what is the purpose of cover letter? I think there are three questions that we should address within the cover letter. First, why are you interested in consulting? Why not medical science liaison? Why not postdoc? Why not field application scientist? There are so many jobs with a PhD or other advanced degrees that you can have. Why consulting? Okay, tell me about that. Second, okay, so why this company? Because you're specifically applying to our firm. Why did you choose our firm over other dozens of great firms? And third is really why this firm should hire you. So, as I said, the resume also demonstrates the last point, right? Oh, so I have all these experiences. Why, you know, because of this experience, I will be amazing consultant. I can fit into uh, the consulting position right away, things like this. But the resume is really short, right? As I've mentioned in the past videos, you want to fit all your past experience into one resume. Some of the really highlights, you can't really expand too much on the resume part, right? So cover letter will be a great place to elaborate on those experiences and really convince the HR that you are the person that they should hire. So after we clarifying these three objectives, now we can dive into the cover letter. So typically, cover letter is separated into three to five paragraphs. So if you're a graduate student, I think you're very familiar with personal statements. And I think writing a cover letter is pretty much like how you wrote your personal statement back then. You demonstrate why you're interested in going for a grad school, right? Going for a PhD program. And why did you choose this school over other hundreds of schools? And, you know, why the school should have you, right? Because your rich experience passed in the lab with certain projects that you, you're working on this specific topic, right? So it's very similar. Um, that's what you should do to the cover letter as well. So let's go one by one. First, why consulting? Why you choose this specific area of industry? Why consulting can be as straightforward as Oh, you know, this lifestyle really suits me. I really enjoy the conversation with a consultant who told me everything about consulting. What consultants do really have immediate impact, blah, blah, blah. What you really, you know, think, why consulting? And next, why this company? So why this company is important is because there are so many other companies out there, right? Even let's say healthcare consulting. When I apply, there are already like a dozen life science consulting firms are really at the top of the pyramid. And how do you choose? The only way that you know this one is better than the rest is by talking to the people in the company, right? You can say, oh, you know, I went to the 
company website, you know, this website show blah, blah, blah. It was really intriguing. But you know, really the most direct way to say that you, I know about this company, that's why I like this company is by talking to people who's already working there or who worked there before, okay? So I think that is really a stronger, powerful statement showing that you are interested in this company. But you know, everything I've said is pretty much the beginning paragraph of the consulting cover letter or you know, kind of just like merge in the middle. The body of the cover letter are really still the experiences that you want to elaborate as I mentioned before. So you can choose one, two, three experiences to be the body of the cover letter, okay? So let's say example that I mentioned in my last video about your internship, right? So maybe on the resume you only said, you know, I, I did an internship in blah 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 company and you quantified the achievement, I boosted blah blah sales by 1% or, you know, I actively plan blah 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 conferences with how many participants, you know, you only have those bullet points, right? But in the cover letter, as I said, really is a great place for you to elaborate on this event. So you can say, actually, you know, what was the background, right? And then what did you do? What was the achievement? And then how this helped you to build what soft skills. So it can really be a story within that paragraph of the cover letter, okay? So this can be more powerful than just a bullet point in the resume. So this really is the body of the cover letter and towards the end of the cover letter you of course end with some nice sentences and words and then that is pretty much the cover letter. So let me briefly talk about the structure of cover letter. So clearly you need an intro paragraph and then followed by two to three additional paragraphs talking about your past experiences. Okay, so in your intro paragraph the point of that paragraph is to tell them what position that you're looking for, which office that you are interested in, who you have talked to, you know, show your network, and also explain why potentially you're interested in consulting and the firm, okay? So it sounds a lot to, to include in the first paragraph, but let me show you an example. So here would be the example that I um, say is good. You know, dear blah blah, you have to find the recruiter's name, okay? You know, you first mention the person that you talk to, either on LinkedIn, personal relationships, that work in this company, okay? You can say, you know, this person shared experience about your company's culture and the something, if it's unique within that consulting company interested in. And then, you know, you can also highlight some of your own research about the company. Towards the end, you mention what position you are interested in. And then uh, move forward to the middle paragraphs of uh, the cover letter. That's where you want to share with each other what you actually did and achieved in that experience that you share with them on the resume. But you don't want to repeat, right, what you've already said in the resume. And this is a place that you can elaborate on. Okay, so let me also give you an example. So here's a good example. So this person said he or she had a long standing interest in the business side of science. So this person participated in a workshop and then he or she worked in a team to develop a VC pitch for a startup and also had a presentation to investors. Also see towards the end, this person demonstrate what he or she learned from this experience. So he or she learned how to work in a team, honed communication skills, applied critical analysis and strategic thinking to a real world situation. So this is great because you don't really list your soft skills, right? Like you gained from experience on your resume. So this is a really great place to pinpoint the soft skills that consulting companies are looking for and you have it. Okay, great. So towards the end, you just, you know, be courteous. You say, looking forward to hear back from you on this position, blah, blah, blah. So that pretty much concludes the whole cover letter. So similar to my last resume video, I also have a really great template for you with formatting tips and 
Just refer to this document when you write your cover letter. Avoid all the mistakes, okay? I think just follow the instructions. Don't deviate from it. You know, if we already have a good template, why not just copy it and do it, okay? You will get there. Just follow the steps, please, okay? So this is all I want to say in the cover letter um, video. This should be straightforward. Remember, this should tailor to every single firm, every single position that you apply to because each position and each firm might looking for different things. Yes, soft skills could be different, but you know, the first paragraph you can change a little bit, right? Really, you know, don't just copy and paste. It's remember, when you're applying to grad school, if you're applying 20 schools, that's a lot, right? So you cannot really write the personalized uh, personal statements. Yes, it is easier just copy, paste, and email it out, but it feels less personal, right? So when the hire manager see the letter, if it's just very generic, they will be like, oh, you know, this person didn't even make an effort on writing a letter to us. So this might not be a good first impression. So let me stop here. So I welcome any comments. Please leave them below. I will address them or DM me on my Instagram. I will try to answer as soon as possible. Also, you can email me if you have any questions. I'm happy to answer all of them. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and good luck on all your applications. You all will do amazing. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. I will see you in the next video.